In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up a new Adobe InDesign document for making digital books. This method works for making books you plan to sell on your own website. What we do at Inkslinger Industries is we make a book initially in InDesign, and then we export it in PDF and EPUB formats and convert it into a Mobi format. And we take those three formats and package them together into a zip file. That way, our customers have a choice of how they want to view our book. So this method is intended for that. You could take the resulting EPUB file and submit it to the iBook store, and you could take the resulting Mobi file and submit it to the Kindle store, but the PDF is not going to be suitable to send to a print shop to make a proper print version of your book, and this certainly doesn't make uh, an iBooks file if you want to use the kind of rich media uh, options available with the iBooks format. So all that said, what you do is you go into Adobe InDesign. And for this specific method, you need Adobe InDesign CS6. Um, with each new version, InDesign becomes a little bit more digital publishing friendly. So these options won't work with previous versions of InDesign. So this is the screen you see, the splash screen, when you open InDesign. And you'll choose Create New Document. And up here at Intent, you choose Web. You actually don't choose Digital Publishing for this method. You choose web. And one of the reasons for that is that with web, all the settings are um, all these pixel sizes here, 800, 600, the margins. This is all assuming 72 pixels per inch uh, because that's considered kind of a baseline resolution for the web. And that's what we want right now. We want kind of a baseline, um, you could say a lowest common denominator kind of setup but it works fine the quality is fine so don't worry about that we want to make sure facing pages is not clicked that's only if you're going to print an actual paper edition of your book for page size here I'm going to choose letter and we can see the orientation right now is sideways so i want to make it uh, vertically oriented and now this is interesting if we go to width and height 612 by 792 pixels if you divide 612 by 72, because 72 pixels per inch, you end up with 8.5 inches. And likewise, 72 or 792 divided by 72 is 11 inches. So this is letter sized. Now, you could stick with the defaults. Uh, these margins aren't actually the default sizes. Uh, InDesign remembers what I used last time. I'm using 36 pixels all around, which, of course, is half of 72, which means these are half-inch margins all around. And then I just click OK, and uh, here's my document. And now some of these settings can be changed later by going to File, Document Setup. But it's not easy to change all of the options. Some of them can't quite as easily be changed like the margin, so it's good to get it right the first time. So anyway, so this is the uh, document that I've created. And in a few subsequent videos, I'll show you then how to export as a PDF and as an EPUB.